Want to live to be 100? Your odds currently are not that good. The Census Bureau counted only 53,364 people older than 100 in 2010. That's 0.02% of the U.S. population, or one centenarian for every 5,786 Americans. If you must live to be 100, please move to Throckmorton County, Texas, about halfway between Fort Worth and Lubbock. You'll have lots of company. About one out of every 200 residents of the West Texas County are older than 100. <laughs> of course, that's only eight people. Assuming you don't care about company, and face it, if you live to be over 100, odds are everyone under 95 is boring, try an upper Midwest state. The Dakotas, Iowa, and Nebraska have the highest statewide percentage of centenarians in the nation. Whatever you do, don't move to Alaska. There will only be 40 other people who can appreciate your predicament, and you'll be extremely cold for a good part of the year. In fact, it's best if you stay out of more than 300 U.S. counties because they have no people older than 100 at all. Eagle County, Colorado, for example, has 50,000 people, but none of them are older than 100. Counting people older than 100 has been a problem for the Census Bureau for a very long time, since the government doesn't request birth certificates to prove age for the decennial census. It can sort through household outliers to find suspicious patterns. In general, though, the Census Bureau has consistently overstated the number of centenarians for a long time. In 2006, the government predicted that there would be 114,000 people older than 100 in the United States. Three years later, it lowered the estimate to 64,000. The actual number, according to the 2010 headcount, was just over 53,000. The Census Bureau doesn't help its own cause. It bases projections on the assumption that lifespans will increase indefinitely. In 1900, the average male could expect to live 51.5 years. By 2001, that number had climbed to 80.1 years. Based on that assumption, a male born in 2102 could expect to live more than 143 years. The increase doesn't take into account the fact that the average human now lives longer because of a number of developments made during the 20th century, such as improved antibiotics, life support systems, better sanitation systems, and fewer wars. There's no terribly good explanation for the apparent geographic correlation between location and extreme longevity. That is, there's probably nothing in the water or bingo parlors of the upper Midwest that confers a better shot at reaching the century mark than anywhere else. The absence of many variables, such as high crime, motor vehicle deaths, and pollution may reduce the odds of many premature deaths. The human brain is wired to search for easy explanations, but in this case, a simple explanation would certainly be specious. For every person who claims the secret to their 100th birthday lies in a healthy, balanced diet, unprocessed buttermilk and castor oil, <laughs> there's another centenarian, like Helen Riker, who swears by booze, cigarettes, hamburgers, and fine New York restaurants.